Okay, so this was onion paper. Went and there were always opportunities. It's like a DPS chain kind of a thing, much later. 
So, 1969, as a school student, he was participating and involved in art. And then, of course, life takes different turns. He moved on, he became a very successful businessman, an entrepreneur, worked, shifted from the family business into his own work. And yet, he was always involved. Because I always say to people, being creative is a blessing. Because you're very abnormally normal. All of us, when we are born, bring two skills with us. Every, and I use this word very often, and to, it's basically a short value word, which says abnormal normal. That is to say that there are a lot of people with special abilities. It is not to discount them because they can also be in that world which is very special. Each one of us is very special. Each individual brings with this or herself two beautiful things. When we are born, we scribble. We see scribble. And then we go to school and our first art teacher says, that line is not right. And that's the end of my artistic career. And I mean it. The second gift that we bring before even art is music. When we cry, it's the music to the mother. If a child is born and he does not cry, all the doctors start to you know, to make him cry. Uh, something like a movie, you know, we all saw the movie. What's the movie called? Yeah, like that. Yes, very good. People connect very well with Bollywood. I don't watch Bollywood, but I like the stories because it makes the storytelling very easy. So when you see what happens with that, is that the voice and then Srini, who's the singer, would say, Oh, so my God, I'm very basic. I can talk. I can't sing. So I always keep my peanuts in my hand. It's fine in my hands. So we always say, voice. And voice is what? So the voice becomes very important. And then we tell somebody, the music teacher tells you, you are out of rhythm. It puts the people for the rest of their life on music. So what happens in the journey is that you learn life, you need to make a life for you, so you work with one of the So he made that journey, and out of the whole idea, the desire of being creative will express itself. Uh, my favorite line to every friend of mine is, if you are a literary person, please go and watch performing arts, and watch visual arts. If you are a visual artist, please go and watch performing arts, and please read books literally. If you are a performing artist, Please look at paintings and please read literature because they are all interconnected. And Shalitji is a great example of that. A lot of stuff that you see when he was not even painting, he was traveling. And your conscious self and your subconscious self always urges you to do that, and I'll come to that in a while. So, whatever is there within you will, you don't know what is there in you and when it will come out. You know, we have a couple of artists and I don't want to name them. There's one person here who went to Moscow and he is from some part of Uttar Pradesh and he found his connection with Moscow. So you have people who will connect. Some people will work with steel threads. People work with multiple dimensions. For some people, what is waste is something very special. I'm going to pause and I'm going to actually open it up for you because me and Shalitji have lots of differences. So one paintings will have not two views, maybe 200 views, which I will change the next day. The advantage of playing with words. But art is about emotion. And emotion is always in motion. So either a painting speaks a different language today, in the same way to speak tomorrow. And we were sitting in the studio, he laughed at me and said, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing. So we have to share it. Because sometimes you don't know whether you want to show those words. Even to your best friend. Even to your best friend. I write poetry. Sometimes I write poetry and I eat my poetry. Because I don't want to share it with anybody. Very narcissistic, but it's good fun. Something to think about. You know? So what I'm going to do now is to give you the opportunity. I'm going to step back, but I'll play a very funny role. I'll become a moderator. You can ask the question. But if I don't like the question, I will change it. Make some sense? So the ball is open. Uh, unless Shalaji wants to say something, he is very upset with me, as you can see, uh, because he doesn't like to be in the picture. And I like <laughs> pictures. So. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for everybody to be present here. It's an honor to have you guys. 
and also my dear curator who wants to run away from me. We both love to work with each other. Many times we have always had differences of opinion, but later on, with the process of time, we have come to a common ground where we can both work, work around. The current exhibition here, as the institution, it starts with this the message which is given. The message is beautifully written by Robinson, and he, we, while, while he was writing, I said make it as crisp and small so that we, the message is gone and we don't take the audience time to be long. There is a sculpture below that. That whole sculpture is initially being, you know, in my subconscious and conscious mind was from my grandchildren, which I will, which, which is still in the process. One beautiful work is already in the mind, and we are under, uh, we are in the process of creating it. Out of that, uh, I just showed Robinson this is going on and how do you, how do you view it. I just showed him two structures. These are beautiful. Well, moment. this was planned at the last minute. Last moment. Last, last, last moment. He, was, he and I, I just showed him those and that was it. Yes. Please, please, yeah. Sorry to this come in between. That's my problem. I have to say. We, that's the way we dialogue and it's a very open house. So feel free to interrupt us whenever you feel like in a while. You know, uh, artists go beyond the normal notion of time. Sometimes as creative people we go way ahead and we also have the ability to regress. So we look at the past in a different way and we look at the future in a different way. And that oscillation enables us not like a yo-yo, but we are constantly evolving and changing. So as Srini, who would do dance photographs, would tell you, a dance is always in movement, but you are trying to capture the movement through a camera, which you will never be able to, because the emotion of the movement comes here, goes there, and disappears. I have seen the most sensuous dance form of Odissi, not by any female artist or male artist, and I'm sticking my neck out, I'm gender neutral. I have saw Kelubabu Babu dance and we have never seen his hand would move like this. He would be telling the creeper is going and embracing the wine. And I have never seen a more beautiful, sensuous hand in my life. Men, women, transgender, everybody included. And you can go and on YouTube and see some of those videos. Here is a balding 75 year old man on stage all by himself and his hand is moving and you are like, this is Krishna dancing. So how do you even are able to emote that? You know, we normally think of bodies and we think of the models and stuff like that. We are all imperfect in our own ways. There's nothing called perfection. And of course, beauty is a big concept. So when this particular thing was happening, even when I was putting the show, we both had a very major <laughs> cut part. Uh, what is the point of having a curator who can't think? And what is the point of an art, having an artist who can't curate? So I want to put my butterfly which I really like and then I had written a poem on that. So that tiny alco is actually a show in itself. If you see the show is divided into a multiple aspect. What you are seeing is only the tangible part. The intangible is you. When good artist says, I was had the fortune of putting another show of a very remarkable man, very senior, I won't name He said, I have nothing to say. I have painted. Shall it be same category? He will say, Bangya. You know what he will tell people if you ask? You tell me if there is any fault, I will try to fix. Artists who go into that zone by saying that we have created. And now it's you. So when I was writing my curatorial essay, I said, we are inviting the viewer to come and view. Where you are not only the warrior, you are the interpreter. So one of the biggest interventions of my as a curator was, to his great problem, was I didn't want to name any abstract. I gave titles to all the collage works. 
but I refuse to write any title for any of the aspects. Today, a young 20-year-old child, in fresh out of college of art, we have Divya, who just studied and finished her studies in London. She will say, when you go to school, you know how to subtract. Today, an 18-year-old is trying to make and say, I abstract painting for you. What have you seen in life to make abstract paintings? Some of the greatest abstract masters are ones who know the figure so well. If you don't know figure, you can't do abstract. So, you know, we have all the words. Simple thing. How do you know good food? You can go to Michelin chef, star cafes. You eat food. He says five star Michelin chef. You eat and you're like, okay. Then you go to modern school, ke piche, piche wala, you're like, <laughs> like, wow, this is good. <laughs> good food needs no explanation. Good food is you put it in your mouth, even you are by 12 minutes. That's my way of making my students very conscious. So, good food is about taste. Great art is about taste. It's not about the art. <coughs> How much openness you bring to the art, the art will reflect and manifest itself. So now, you can ask, any question which is dying to come out on the art that you see because this is only a tiny portion of what he as an artist does. He does installations, he does multiple things which I will not tell right now. So the show is very distinctively, like I said, it's tangible, intangible. It's also very clearly divided between the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain. So on one side you have collages, on one side you have abstracts, they are not competing with each other, they are distinctively independent but collectively independent. But there is a third element happening on the wall right in front of you, which is one of my favorite stories. We will do that when I get there, if I get there. That's also a problem with me. I may never get there. Right, but she had a show, she had something on the wall, I didn't get out from there. I was in that wall. And so we will now, what I'll do is, uh, we will now, because we are now looking at the show, we are going to go to the early childhood works and then we will shift from India to Greece. Sounds good. The Greeks are suffering a lot. So if you are feeling a bit dry, I have to, I'm okay, I can live without water and food for some time. Please have a coffee but don't throw the wrapper. Keep it, I make some art with wrapper sauce. So one of the things that he does as part of education is art with waste. What people think is waste is not necessarily waste. It may be waste for you. For someone else, it may not be based. In India, we are enterprising. Uh, some of the most biggest millionaires are Kamadi Wadis. I'm serious. Anyway, so that's a great work. You want to ask him anything on this work, you do so now. And then we will progress on the curatorial path. If you have any, I also have request when anybody was finding it difficult to hear me, I can increase my volume because I prefer not to use a microphone. And if you're tired, you can find one of the chairs. There's Ashima and Alka who will help you in placing you on a chair. And if you're super comfortable, you can just sit wherever you are. Some of us do that all the time. So, so now the ball is open. <laughs> okay, so if you have any questions on the origin of this work, we'll proceed from here and then we will go into the detailed world of collages. Made out of limestone oil and charcoal. I, I come from a very humble background, so I could afford that. As a student, I'm sure water will be offered to me. I, 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 I was, and my parents must be compulsory to buy me a, a, a pack of water colors. So I was here. In 1969, 1970. And I was talking about the show and the culture. So I stole the, the art. What is going on, what is going, still going on in my mind uh, for my grandchildren is already, is already conceived and it should proceed. Out of that, with the current situation, what we, what, what we are in today, today, what the whole uh, country, the North Indian world is going to especially as very high, where we are. We are in this current problem. This painting at the last moment. The mask, placing of the mask was just done a few hours prior to the 
monkey and I'm going to take the liberty. Uh, well, by the way, unlike uh, Western shows where you're not supposed to touch art, here also you're not supposed to touch art. Okay? <laughs> so, just making it very clear. So you can see that um, he's got two lovely granddaughters and like any parents and a grandparent. So the monkey's got a mask and a lovely tail which I don't have. But I tell you tales. And you know, we were told that it's all because of farmers. So it represents these are bushels of paddy, which is happening in Punjab, and all the newspapers will say, Sare Kisan Aag Lagate. Parali. So parali. my. Parali. This is Parali. Ah, Parali. See here, yeah, look, the learned people here. Yeah. <laughs> I like, I always say, make a lot of mistakes so we know how the audience is. Yeah. So what happens here is, we blame a farmer because he's a very easy scapegoat. Maybe we need to fix our own self. That's my story. Of course, this, this could be one of the causes, but it doesn't serve to me. Because I travel to a lot of Indian borders. And we've always had a practice in our country for ages. We've never had an issue. Maybe if every Delhiite switched off his air conditioner for one day, maybe we would get rid of pollution or something. So this is just a take. And that's why we have put him here with a mask. So I leave it to your judgment. Like I said, both of us are not interested in making a political statement. Definitely, uh, we don't belong to any parties, thankfully. But I always say, you have to vote because that's your birthright. That's what makes the country what it is. Our democratic process is to be celebrated more than anything else. So the monkey is open to interpretation like I am. And I'm willing to change if you have a better story. As far as the donkey is concerned, this is, as he said, I, we don't belong to any political party. Yes, but the, from my perspective, this is the system. What we are in. The funnel is you're not allowed to speak in open today. You're not allowed to speak in open. As far as our system goes, Please don't take anybody. No, she's going to the washroom. Oh, whatever. I have to allow her. Well, that, uh, I would also request, I don't want any interruption. I'll be most well. Anybody wants to ask any questions, I would appreciate. Just kindly raise my hand. I, otherwise, with my age, I, my flow breaks. I mean, very straight about it. So this is the system. It's just so bogged down. The donkey is so bogged down. At the same time, our system is busy making money out of the whole process. As an artist, I cannot voice out like this, but I can convey through my words. I have I have only two things in my hand. One is either a brush or a pen or a paper or maybe something like this to send out. I think I've given enough words to the audience to, to talk about it or explore their own minds. Beyond this, in today's contest, it's inappropriate for me to talk beyond this. I leave it to the audience to decide on this. But however, I have stolen both the artwork from my grandchildren. But I'm going to replace it by, I'm very confident, I promised my granddaughter today, Kimaya, that I'm going to show you not only donkey and monkey, I'm going to show you the fish, I'm going to show you uh, the cock, Various things, what she missed out on the inauguration day because I was busy. 
I love spending time to, with them and they are my inspiration now for to, to carry on this process. And my uh, just very personal situation this morning, Shama, I'm talking to my wife also, my brother came in. We are not in good terms with each other as two brothers, any, any two brothers would say things would happen. He came and spent about two hours here and he, what he might find is give it to somebody. Who, because his children or my children, none of them have that skills set. So I am sending a message to Ashima, my daughter-in-law. If they can be beyond me, artist, try, try take artist, not necessarily visual artist, a painter. Make them an, any, 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 make them creative individuals. They, I don't know uh, whether tomorrow morning I'm here or not. Till I'm going to be with them. I, I'm going to uh, probably uh, take them to that direction. And my humble request, and open, I'm openly conveying it. I'm, I'm bequeathing and uh, just giving this responsibility to you today. Okay? <laughs> and uh, just to add on, very personal uh, family uh, uh, statements by I have two sons. One is into real estate. That's Ashima, the eldest daughter-in-law. My younger son, uh, who's traveled the world the most, and especially in Europe, he's one of the cause of me to be in. He's just the reason that I've just picked up art after so many years. And all he says very clearly, Papa, I don't want anything from you, no worldly thing. Just be the art for me. But he still wants something. <laughs> that's, that's another story. Uh, uh, I'm talking about the hard work. Anyway, please, I leave the floor to him. No, you see, the advantage of um, sharing a very open relationship is this. That we, we are not conscious that we are in public. I say something comes, he always says, I have never ever thought about what I'm saying. If it's there, it will come out. But what he said is so beautiful, in context of the grandchildren. I grew up with a father who told me that the day your leg size, your feet size are mine, I will stop scolding you. So when I used to go to church to pray, I only had one prayer. My feet should become as big as my dad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have a defense father, it's not easy. Okay? So the only first prayer in the church every Sunday was Dad size eight. I need to be size eight. <laughs> you know, no other prayer. And I'll be very honest here. But what is very beautiful in this story, so I have, he's not only an artist and I'm not a curator. I have multiple kinds of levels of relationship with the family. That's why we take this liberty and we're sharing this. You may like it, you may not like it, that's your issue. But one of the sentences that have always stayed with me is, child is the father of man. The day we stop learning from children, our life is not going to be the same anymore. I have learned more from my students than from my teachers. And I'm really putting my neck out because I had some very good teachers. Uh, it all culminates, this section, and we will not talk about this aspect anymore in the show. It culminates with a small poem that I did of this work. When we were putting the show, we both had a very nice conversation. <laughs> I was clear I want the work here. He's like, the reason why it is a bit cramped is the situation of Mother Earth today. And if you see the work, uh, aesthetically speaking, the proportions will leave questions. You know, the butterfly can't even stretch. It's a different kind of a thing. So, uh, Shinjari is a poetess also. I'm going to request, I like playing also. Shinjari is going to read this poem for everybody. She recites very beautifully. If she makes a mistake, it's because of me. Because I put her in a spot. I never told her I could do this. So, I'm going to read this loud in a wonderful, better voice than mine. So. I kneel down in despair at the state of earth. I kneel down in prayer at the state of earth. I kneel down in hope, hoping to be able to fly in a clean and beautiful earth. My favorite line when we were ending this, that we as human beings were supposed to be caretakers of earth. 
custodians, in the lack of a better word, and yet look what we've done. So tomorrow, Kibaya, or like we say, Greta Thunberg today, they have all the right to say, what are you giving us? We will not discuss this anymore. I think we've planted enough seeds for you to go and have a party with your thoughts. What we call, it's seen as a lower form of art, because when somebody says, I only do oil painting, I do only watercolors, but you see some of the greatest masters in the world, and Shalejji, and when we say masters, we always think Europe, mm. right? Big problem, right? Yes. right? He's faced that because he was traveling to Russia very often. Master means it has to be someone master. But in Indian tradition, art was our life. In my city, when I go to a temple, a mosque, a church, I will give my Krishna. I call him my Krishna sometimes, sir. So I will touch my Krishna. He will have summer clothes. He will have winter jacket also. Art was life for an Indian. And if I can break it further, when I say India, I'm not talking political boundaries. Art was life. It was celebrated in the miniature tradition. And Shalesh Bhai, Shalesh Ji, has been influenced tremendously by the Indian miniature tradition. Very few people actually, we say Indian miniature tradition, we think it is three words. There are over 600 schools of miniature painting in this country beginning from Kishangarh to Bundi to, you can go and go mad. I shocked somebody, I was sitting at a conference, I said, India has 1,72,000 kinds of rice in this country. Digest that what I'm saying. I'm serious, very serious. We have over a lakh and a half varieties of rice in this country. That Indian miniature painting tradition, how did he become? He's a businessman, he's got no business looking at miniature paintings. How did he pick it up? <laughs> because when you travel, he's got a wonderful wife. Shamaji, please show them your face because they should be able to put the name and the person together. We are a very interesting group of people. We love putting people in the spot, you know. She doesn't know that she has to be here. I put Ashima in a spot for the opening, so it's good fun. That's Shamaji. Now Shamaji, behind all this magic that you see, is a person who does, she's very special in her own way. But she's also very interested in looking at museums and art. So these both of them actually disappear to different parts of the world, only looking at art. Other people go for other fun, they look at art. So a lot of times, what we miss out, we are thinking we're having a party, we're not learning anything. If you go for a night and wake up like that. But if you go to an exhibition, how many of you have been to the National Museum in Delhi? <laughs> This is a very good crowd. You say, if I tell you, and this is one of my favorite jokes, <laughs> me and Shiri would say, how many of you know the Beatles? Very good. How many of you know Ustad Asad Ali Khan uh, How many of you know the guitar? How many of you know the Rudra Veena? Okay, very interesting. You know, when we, we used to joke, if you are going on the metro, Someone is with a guitar, you're like, you guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, imagine somebody sitting with Tanpura. Oh, my God. Tanpura. First of all, the metro guy will say, Bhai sahab, kya leke ho ye? Kya ye? <laughs> So, you know, this is the discords we have. Anyway, coming back to the story, we're enjoying ourselves, is very good. Now, this is a work uh, which is almost on the verge of being sold. So, if you want to buy it, you should tell us now. It's also the same part. Everything in the show is available, except some of us who are not in sale. <laughs> so this is a remarkable way in which an artist expresses his love to a particular subject or a space. They were traveling to a lovely space in Greece called the Santorini Island, which is considered one of the most beautiful seascape cities in the whole of the world, on the Aegean Sea. So they went and they ended up walking. Why don't you tell them the story? It's a beautiful story. I loved it when I heard it for the first time. And then we have another watercolorist friend who actually made something similar. But listen to these two stories and then we go. I think we'll spend a lot of time telling stories. Is there anybody who wants to, who's dying to have water 
or eat something, then they can just quietly leave. Otherwise, we'll keep you entertained with these stories for some more time. Yeah. This was while going to one of our trips, which we had planned for Europe. And as usual, I, uh, it was summertime, and I was feeling undressed. I was not mentally prepared to take a, uh, a European tour where you have to drag three of your bags, you know, backpacks, and with a wife who got a broken bag. So you have to take care of everything. I was not willing to do that. And that point came in, and I said, I am not traveling. I need to show myself to a doctor. She said, what? So we finally, I just said, I want to go into that doctor <coughs> who treated me well. And he's not a professional doctor. He's a, he is a doctor who was the president of India. And when you go to him, he will give you an appointment. He's not, not doing commercial practice at all. As an I want to go and see him. So finally, with great difficulty, we took, we took his time. We went to him. He doesn't charge any fees to us. fees also. So he's not non-professional. But he is a nice individual and a very uh, staunch individual, very different personality. So we went to him, he, he checked up my blood pressure, he says something, we need to observe your blood pressure. It was the first time when I, uh, we identified my blood pressure was not stable. So he said, let us, let us just uh, monitor this, continue monitoring. Uh, we are still four or five days to come to leave. Don't cancel your tickets, we'll take care of it. So we monitored for three, four days. And finally, I was not willing to. He didn't give me any treatment, he said, just monitor twice a day, and that's it. But two days prior to that, I said, I am not going. But some of the others, as a good uh, partner, some companion, she pastored me and she made me agree, let's go. I said, let me talk to the doctor. I, I gave him a call. Give me, give me, give, give me a medicine if I, in case I need it. He was not willing to prescribe me or mention a medicine what I should carry. I said, no, I need to go to Europe, and there, if I have any issues, how, how I'm going to at least uh, there I will not. Nobody will entertain any medicine walking like this. Here I can conveniently buy it with great difficulty with an assurance that I'm not going to use the medicine. Unless and until he advises, he said, you have to communicate to me, tell me your, uh, your chart, and let them, let them. So uh, I did carry those two uh, strips, but till date, I, uh, there was no need to uh, use, it. use them. Rest for the rest of the story, I leave it to her to share. <laughs> so we just spent one day in Athens, that was the first day. This is 2015. It was about a 40-day trip to Greece and Italy. And uh, start with Athens. The first day I used my mobile. Anyway, by big God's grace, I did get it back. That's another story. The second day we traveled to Centurion by the ship. And uh, it's a... You, to enjoy Centurion, you really have to go by the small lanes. And that's where you actually enjoy it. And in that whole process, me by itself was so refreshing that we could continue our 44 day trip. And, and we were in a boutique hotel, and the hotel was, we had a private jacuzzi to ourselves, and right on the road, right beyond the jacuzzi, you, there are glass blazing, and you see the road, and beyond the road, you see the sky, like this, getting out in the sun. Straight into the sun. See, and beautiful. I mean, the sun would come up like this, and one of the evenings we opened a bottle of wine, cheese. Both of us sunk ourselves in the jacuzzi and cleaned the bottle. And then she decides that I need to go and uh, go to a restaurant which I've seen on Happy Cow. The restaurant name was Avocado. Without knowing the distance, what how far it was. We took the journey, so we started. And I, I, at some point, I said, let's have here a nice place. We just finish off in this so that no she, the, she was drunk and so was, so was I. <laughs> Both of us, and then we took the journey. We did there in the days. Uh, it took us four and a half miles to walking there in those streets. 
दिल्ली की गलियों में तो बदबू भी आती है लोग भी मिलते हैं वहाँ कोई एक परिंदा नहीं वहाँ बदबू नहीं थी परिंदा नहीं था प्लेस द प्लेस इज सो रिफ्रेश उसके बाद हम जहाँ रेस्टोरेंट में पहुँचे फॉर ऑल फुल हमने कहा कुछ नहीं भाई हमको रात के रात के लेट हो गए थे हमको यहाँ बाहर दे दे कुछ खाने के लिए तो वहाँ पे बैठ के खाया उसके बाद एज यूजल यूरोपियंस की आदत है हाउ वज यू फूड सर सो शी वज ट्रैंक इनफ शी वज ट्रैंक there is a personal connect and the personal connect manifests itself into a different story so we are not going to spend like we could do this with every work and you realize that we can be here the whole day so we're going to cut short and move also so this is a tribute to santorini and we called it specifically a tribute because of their personal experience in that island this one is dedicated to the italian seaside these are the only vilayati works on the wall okay i like the word vilayati in the mind to the latali khasab so uh this is uh i have to tell you this in the world over collages were done with paper and you are seeing paper collages but that's one of the things that shanish ji does paper collages are a tiny fraction of his creative oud how many of you know the word oud 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 the range that's a very a uh, good artistic like you say oh my creative pool okay i like the words i use uh normally i don't know english uh so these are paper collages and this one we know the tradition in india what is very beautiful about the indian mind is that we accept whatever is coming through from wherever it is coming in the japanese tradition we have origami remarkable idea of folding so this work is actually a fantastic work It is so fantastic for me on a personal level that the work is titled Wonder Awe. Wonder dash awe. Now he has a different story. I have a different story. But we will try to see if we can come to a common ground. It's a paper collage with elements of origami. It is a remarkable happening. You have a silver deer happening. You have the animals happening. You have temples, mosques, everything happening. And what suddenly happens is that you have Hanuman Ji carrying booty, some jeepney, and then you have a demon, some kind of a form which is not part of the tradition of the mixing into collage, and every eye is suddenly turning towards this demon side. Now this work is again in the paper collage version, and you get the dynamics of the work, the scale of the work. Uh, we have had some really interesting gadget. It's called the magnifying glass. Those of you who like to see detail can actually sit back and enjoy this work in a much more deeper way. It is first it's the scape, and then you get. It. So each portion has a story. So when a collage artist works, it's like putting a feature film. You know what your slots are, you know your slots, and then you make your film. And when you see, 
you see it like this, but what is happening is like this. You know, what do we say? Childhood, teenage, middle age, gone age. Uh, this, what is this? Have I covered it? Yeah, you have. Okay. There's a wooden katola. Yeah, wooden katola. You know the wooden katola there. There's also the latest uh, airplane. It's a Boeing 770. And, uh, here, the most interesting part of the, uh, this work is here. The demo. Can I request those who are having a conversation to cut down the conversation? Here is the demo, which from my perspective is like a Brahmana. I would love, we always associate Brahman with evil. So I would say it's an evil. And when the evil comes in, all the fishes pop, pop out. The birds are looking. The parents are wondering, what is this Hanuman going and what is this demo? They are all wondering. So as an artist of today's night, with black goggles, right up, so a bit. Uh, the jungle below, you can see, it's very interesting. I don't know rest, but uh, it's all about what we are to make them just to leave the audience. So, there's a sun this side, there's a moon, and there's a moon that side. So I leave it to you to how to integrate beyond this, because if, uh, if you continue talking on each and every work, I'm going to be, we might take the entire night. But we will still not be done. I know myself. But as we move, uh, we always say uh, that unlike other shows that you will see in Delhi or anywhere else, the walls are all pretty thick. It's my territorial intervention. I don't like too many words on the wall at the same time. But I've taken a choice here. Why I've taken a choice is this space. And now when I say space, I want you to step back. One more step back. Space is something that we are struggling with. Not only the physical space, our personal spaces. We tell our, but I'm a very strange character, so I won't tell you. But normal conversation would be, leave me alone. You tell that to your husband, your wife, your children. Children are like, dad, leave me alone. The idea of personal space never existed in a civilizational tone. We as people lived as people. Now we say, the child says, my bedroom is different, my study table is different. So the idea of space is explored, that what I'm saying is the intangible part. The tangible part is depicting that how closely are we getting here that there is no breathing space in our urban settings. So this celebrates that. How many of you have been to Pushkar? You know, when we teach, we always say, if you know you do this or you don't do this. Problem so, <laughs> sorry. You know, I have to bring some humor because I'm a very serious person. And I'm an antisocial, so I have to try my best to be social. The only way I can be social is by having humor. Uh, forgive me for that. So, what you say, this one is titled as Temple Town. In India, temples, churches, mosques, Buddhist sites, Jain temples are all usually on a hill top. Whether you go to Badri Kedar, you go to Rameshwaram, you go to Sufiana Dargas, they're all at different levels of forestry, the desert, the forest, all this is celebrated in their own way. The temple town concept <coughs> is that there is one place where everybody comes, so you have almost all. And I want you to use your lens, magnifying glass, because your naked eye will not do justice to his work. That's why they tell people that they're like, maybe I'm going chair by chair. And then we say, you will see the attention of detail here with the auto rickshaws, the tractor. What happens in Indian villages, temple towns? You have all modes of transport, including people carrying people. The temple is right here, there are birds flying, and there's a whole activity which is actually based on the temple here. If you go to Gurdwana, Hindu side, entirely different. When you go to Balakani, in the Christian tradition, entirely different. You go to Palitana, entirely different. So you, it's a celebration of India in many ways because the word belief has the word lie inside. Think. This is a work which he is very fond of because he's got Rama and my Rama is very beautiful. It means that we are not comfortable standing. Can you imagine? There's something seriously wrong with us. Not only physically, but we always go to yours. If you can't stand
understand that this is a bit more easy. So the hammers of okay, this is the old. We don't need. We are leading all the time. That means we need some more system. I can look at a person, I can tell you what sickness is getting. Just by the way, you said. The posture is so important, we don't realize. How could that be a meaning? And now my eyes are with a very heavy heart because India is a land of monuments which are all been spoiled because of the way we live. Because they're putting sweat also. That's why in Tarmir, when Indian people in school, they said, Ten months take it out, five months take it out, seven months take it out, because that's the way we are. But, but we are wonderful human beings. This one is, by title, this is called India Unlimited. Because India is a land magnificent. There is no doubt that we are very, very specially blessed to be born in this country. And I say that with absolute conviction. It's a celebration of the Shara, but it also is ice cream wala. Don't miss the bicycle wala. It has the old movie business. It does it very well. Now, in a very nice Samran, the bicycle makes an entrance as a novelty item. One of the biggest Casualties of modern world is that handmade. You know why these works are very special? They're not made by a machine. It's the hands. Today we go and buy made in USA, made in China, made in France. Soon, and that's copyrighted what I'm saying. I want to work on book on this. It's going to be called made by hands. People are not working with hands. You're buying even your food from a processing point. You're putting a microwave. You're not having Shabati's hands or Bhakti's hands or any one of the wonderful ladies in our life who actually create food for us. Think about what I'm saying. The whole idea of doing this form is to <coughs> make you think and reflect. So you can see it's all made by hand. You have, this is something that he will talk about because uh, our generation now we have pestered our parents and I'm sure Shadenji's sons have pestered him. The binocular was a great novelty and smuggled from Kathmandu, very good. Because we didn't have it. You know, they expect Brass cake stuff, this plastic stuff. Brass, I don't know, we should like, yeah, I'll be a good boy for three days. You know, I can get you one. So, yeah, as he's talking about hand, I'm going to be talking to the shape of the world and talking to the people of This morning, I had a gentleman, a couple, who claimed that we come to, on, a, on each and every Sunday to Habitat. Spend our time here and we all just visit the gallery, this gallery. And I am enjoying this gallery. And we were just, I saw them passing by, they didn't like it. I was sitting there, picked up the bag of the glass, gave it to them, the gentleman, enjoy your time. He didn't know what it was. I said, these are the glasses. Till then, he was not aware. And when I gave him in, in this work, he was there. He, both the couples, him back. And I made them aware of these are handmade cut pieces. Coincidentally, I had time till they work in that corner. We were together for some time. Or, uh, or I just did it. And then he, he mentioned that he was photographed. And he showed me that he took his rice photograph. One shot, 26 times. He could only get it after 26 shots. And he, he was very eager to show me. Very keen to see him. So he just on the mobile showed with us showing something like the sea, the sun going down, and the sun is behind you. So there is no straight line. This talent was how to get the lady right. Right. Mm. That was his talent. And that's what I was speaking. And he was finally successful. Doing so. <coughs> this is him, she, she shared with a lot of time. And his next question to me, in the course of our interaction, he says, Yeah, to what kind of question? What kind of question? And then he asked me, I'm a Praha Rana. That's it. A Praha Rana is a Paki de la Pita of Men. कितने घंटे कितने घंटे क्या कॉस्ट करता है तो मैंने उनको क्या जवाब दिया मैंने उनसे पहले सवाल करा कि आपने फोटोग्राफी किस उम्र से शुरू करी तो मुझे नहीं पता थी किस उम्र से उन्होंने शुरू करी 
उन्होंने बताया ना दस 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 साल का था जब से मैं छोटी बस मैंने आज आपकी उम्र था तो मैं पैंसठ साल का हूँ मैंने कितने साल दिए आपने ये आपने छब्बीस फोटो ली उसके बाद आपको एक छत्तीस दिया तो आप बताइए आपको इस फोटो छब्बीस की जो फोटो आप दिखा रहे थे उसकी क्या कीमत है क्या कर रहे हैं आपके पास नो वर्ड्स He ran out of words, and he realized, as a creative person, you cannot evaluate and evaluate in terms of value, in terms of cost, and in terms of what you do. As an artist, I have chosen a very different path. <coughs> Not only heart and soul. Hard. It's called labor. Hard work. Hard work. Lots of labor. Lots of labor. Labor. Sheer hard work. And so, but just to add, imagination. You know, I get this question asked a lot of times. What are you getting out of it? You know, I have artists who come say, "Our show is great, and I am smiling." You know why? It is not necessary to pick up every offer that comes your way. There has to be substance. And I am surprised that none of you noticed that we moved like this. I know that we are. Are we like magicians? We are keeping the rules together. It's good. I like you as much as. Thank you. Let me mention. You know what is very beautiful? We have made a very smooth transition, which is challenging the strength. You have moved from paper collages to the world of acrylic canvas collages. It is a rare thing because the world over, you will see paper collages in all traditions: Egypt, France, Europe, in Africa. <coughs> He is moved to something that very few people practice. This is called the tradition of acrylic canvas on collages. And because he mentioned that, each piece is individually painted. There is not one layer. And it's a big joke between the two of us. I say, if we tell people there are eight thousand pieces of canvas on this, they will both be idiots. They are happy being idiots. There are more than 8,000 pieces in some of those works. So imagine when someone asks you, "Kit ne ka hai?" Both of us will say, "Either we get out or you get out." <laughs> There's no other option because this one is like I said, coming back to the higher. In the article, it is about India being limitless. My favorite story in India, India is India is like Christ on the cross, like this. It says, "Bring it on." I'll take it. That's what it is. See, as well as I am, I have done my own things that are related to the source of my heart. In my conscience, our conscience is like this. Consciously, as well as the collages were mentioned, these are definitely the thought has started to be that too. Instead, we are to document this. We as Indians, we are not we are very poor in our documentation. Help this documentation concept continue. We would have had the best Ayurvedic doctors in the Arab country. The best treatment in the world would have been from this part of the world. Poor doctors. The bad did not want to be a secret. He never wanted to share his his computation. How he treats people, and it went with him. He didn't pass on to the next generation. He should have done that. He would be a very poor at documentation. It was one of the interesting, first one of my first exhibitions happened, and I <coughs> come to ask ask to do the exhibition for the attack at Paris and the school. And they were wondering what is what is he doing? And he was just four of them. I was just coincidentally just sitting from on the bench there. It's just to be a Send for like all the, most of us do, and the children, one of them, went this way and tried to feel, make a touch, huh? And to, to a, a feel of it, I saw that. Oh. You two all, I said, this is made out of this. <coughs> this is how how I do. And you please take a photograph, and you can come at your convenience. Make me a second copy on this. There's nothing secreted. 
please go ahead and make a second copy and I'm going to buy it from you. And I really mean it even. Not that I'm challenging anybody. <coughs> the intent behind this, all this work is to put, to pen down and to document, to, to archive this. China? No, to archive this so that they are not forgotten. This, this grammar, uh, all this, is, we are not going to be, they are already being replaced by lasers, <coughs> by balloons, <coughs> things are changing. So at least let us, but let us just document it for time to come. My favorite poem that I wrote in the drama is this. Every year the local society makes drama. As they go around hosting, my drama is a TV. Rama laughs. You know why it's not like you? The next year I can be fine. Can you imagine? People actually write in the newspaper, Ramira Nathanka Rama is so busy. <laughs> no. So you don't know what you're in, in, in Mumbai, all the ladies are only feet. Anyway, we're coming to this. This work is very close to both our hearts. It's a part of India that's not going to be our part, but we love talking about that part. This is Meghalaya and Shalom. And what is one of the most beautiful things in the North East is the women actually have their own objects. The work is titled like Twinkle Square and a very conscious decision I'm doing by the here, as a as curator as well as some of the students are, that you see there are no facial features on these images because of the deliberate attempt of not portraying the North Easterns the way people have portrayed. So you see how subconscious and a compassionate heart works. Because you know, we normally would do this. It is so terrible to identify people based on caste, color, community, religion. So for me, the fragrant square is not about the flowers. In this work, it's about the sensitivity which Shanesh puts into the work. We're going to do it now a bit more faster. Uh, tug of war. Uh, those of you who went to Delhi University would know if you want the tug of war, you want a very good free meal at Tatu Sweets. That was my college. So, Again, it's a, it's a very rustic, rural, uh, modern, because now you get people wearing the same kind of t-shirts and doing tug of war. We have wonderful women tug of war. And if you didn't like the people, you just drop the ball. You just drop the rassi. But in Hindi, we can put the rassa rassi. So rassa rassi. And if you had, if you, if you were very smart, you got your best girlfriend to post opposite the other people. So they would get diverted. The games, the yeah. strategy. As far as there is no audience, we have tried to give the audience the part of the work. Yeah. And uh, consciously, just to share that I am a very happy individual as a person. That's why my styles are always And they are in most and many ways I can accomplish. This is again about heights, what they were just recently, two of them were talking about. Hmm. So this is, but have you noticed there is something very unique and uniform in all the calendars for others? This guy? I'll give you an extra prize. Did he tell you that? Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm going to take an exam after this. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's just one part of the game. We'll, we'll give an extra prize. We'll give a prize. We'll give a prize. We'll give a prize. Dahi Handi is something that we celebrate with Mumbai from a very western uh, India. But you can see this is like happening. We call them Govindas. If you know Govindas, whatever. We were recently in Mumbai and we talked about Mumbai. Mumbai, Mumbai. Mumbai. That'd be politically correct. It's Mumbai. <laughs> so, you have, it is also a great thing about now, some corporates, actually when they go out, they do team building. So it's all about team building. You don't want the right person next to you, otherwise it's a big problem. So, what is very unique is the skyline. This is, Shailaji does not have to sign his name anyway. You see the sky, you know, this is his art. Distinctively signature to art itself. Some of the great masters in Europe never allow their great spirits to sign. You know what? He's like, have you learned your life? So that's a different story for a different session.
Um, this is something which I really like. Maybe you are not able to buy the big one because it might be a bit off the budget. But there is the smaller version. This is what is the idea of the miniature tradition that he's learned. The Indian miniature, you know, in the olden times in India, and by India I mean South Asia, artists, kings did not mind other kings coming to their country. But if an artist from this state was going to another state, big problem. There will be check post. He can't take this, he can't do that. You know why? Because the best artists would go and draw the whole fort in a photographic memory. There is a book in the Lalitkal Academy. It's a collection from the Kota tradition, the kingdom that was Kota. There were artists who could go to a city and give you a blueprint. So when an artist goes to another country and is an enemy country, big problem. Because he would actually portray. And you can see some of the Indian collections in London, as well as the National Museum, in the beginning of painting, the whole city, the artist is making the presentation in one piece. <coughs> Whenever how do you see the art? When you go to Taj Mahal, you see Taj Mahal, you are blown away. How many of you know that under the Taj Mahal there are bells? Who are? Okay, two people, right? I told you. But you can introduce someone else. There are bells, there are bells under the Taj Mahal. When the water in the river raises, it goes into the well. That's why the structure has been standing for 50 years. But that's not what my intervention is. I just see it in my head, so I stay. On the right side, there is a museum which shows the reflections of what happened. There is a painting, there is a drawing of the making of the Taj Mahal. Next time the Taj Mahal, go and see that. You will realize how much mathematics is there. And do you know why the building is very special in the monuments? No steel. Geometry is secondary. No steel, no cement, no iron, no ferrous material. The brilliance of mathematics, marine science, to create structures. And that's why the flying line is very special. Human structures. Trying to reach the divine. And yet, much easier to be like the answer of This is something that you will might get. If you're all nice people and you get give us nice answers, so we might give you this, huh? We might give you this. We might give you this. This is uh well, we were thinking about what is the way the Western world thinks about India? They still think of India as the land of elephants, very cobra wala, you know, Patani Kona, they are rope trick. So some of the people from the wild west of India be in the wild east. So this is a <laughs> and of course in India the elephant is very special. Ganesha is part of our tapestry across. And in south of India in Kerala, near the temple town of Guruvayu, also known as the Bulo Kambekuta. There is an elephant school where 65 elephants actually study. I will leave you for you to discover in your own world. But here, you can see that there is a very crisp western attire with the red tie. Trump is the red tie, right? You know who wears red ties? Trump. Trump. Ah, good. There's the three. <laughs> when, you, when, you watch, when you watch NBA, how many of you watch the NBA? The basketball. You know what happens? Scotty Pippen on the line for the three. Nails the three. That's the name. So, very interesting the red tie. Good picture. Now, he's working on a laptop. And now we see the changing in the other. Everybody's got something happening. Very unlike people like us. My latest poem work is called Gandhi's Modern Three Monkeys. You know what the new three modern monkeys are? A person sitting in the background. Headphones? Kanban. Kala Chashma. Akebal. Face mask, move back. Gandhi ji ke teen dilli ke nai baat. Copyright right? Copy, right? Smaller version of that. My version here. In the current situation, there is no art enabled. You can have that reward. That's right. No art, no even in the film. This is one which is... Along with the Trump's tie, there is Modi's jacket also there. This is uh, in truly uh, what Chalenji wishes for his grandchildren, what I as someone who believes in, in the world would like to say is that no, no, this is what the sure. world was supposed to be. Trini, you have something to say, come and stand from.
Maybe you have difficult some say that. But you know, CD might be the right person to bring it up because I have something to show. Okay. You know, I have to give a spot to the right So he is the only one who is trying to be the bird here. When he, he, he was thinking he will do camouflage, but he wanted. Okay. So this work is actually called Magnificent Nature. It's a triptych. For those who know what triptych is, it's a three panels, but they are actually simple painted. And you can see that here, thankfully, one great magic has done here. Be careful, uh, that is an installation. So I know photographers will be a very good picture, but so sorry. Here you see something very unique and uh, it's a story that I'm not you know, can I tell you something very candid? We are not even knowing what we are saying. We haven't planned it this way. So oh, whatever is coming is just coming. Whatever is coming. This here that's, is that's, very unique to me and in a very private way because, I, like I said, I'm an anti-social There is no human being in the picture. Which makes... That's why the nature is so beautiful. <laughs> really. There's no human being there. That's why it's so beautiful. This is magnificent nature at its very best. And oh. I remember my young nephew. I took my nephew to the zoo, the Delhi National Zoological Park. It is actually considered a model zoo in the history of zoos. It was designed by a brilliant German called Karl Hackenbeck. He was the one who came and commissioned it. So I took my nephew when he was three, less than three years old. And he goes to a very interesting Catholic school. And he told his teacher, ma'am, the teacher was teaching, he said, peacock is a colorful bird. And my nephew said, no ma'am, there is a white peacock. The teacher said, get out of class here. <laughs> He's a young child when he was five. So he went out of class because you can't say no to the teacher. And sadly I happened to be the board of the school. So I hear the story from him. I go back to the school. I meet the teacher. I said, Man, I believe uh, you have never met a white peacock. I would like to show you some white peacocks. Can you imagine? A child learns because he sees. So what some people who have never seen white peacock would think it's an imagination of the artist. We all have the right to imagine. But you see how the discord is there. He jo dekha nahi to ho sakta hai sachna, but jaruri thodi to dekha hoy sach. So this is about nature. So some people came and said, "Ye to hamare ke mein hota hi nahi hai, pakhi nahi banana." But who says that birds can't be? What is the difference between birds and us? The birds are free. The birds. And look at what we have done to the birds also. Mobile towers. Thankfully, the sparrow is coming back. So this is why we said his intervention because environment is. Very, very close to his heart. Um, we'll try to wind up. So, this is called The Magnificent Nature. <clears throat> and we have a smaller work which, uh, how many of you know the story of Simur, the Persian Conference of Birds? You know this story? Would you like to tell oh, no. My stories are wrong. Uh, the short way of the story is that all the birds are flying, trying to find that great bird, <coughs> the greatest divine bird. They are all tired and finally they see the reflection of the water and they say, So that's literally birds of paradise. Here are the three parallel parents of the city. They are all three of them. They are meant to be. They are enjoying the danger. This is what I am trying to convey to my audience, to myself, and my
first session will come to an end soon. Uh, this is, in many ways, um, a reflection of Gary Six. In many ways, in the chair, it is known by its own code. But when I was titling it, I said it's a hamlet. It's not a city. It's something what we the badly taught in English. And then if you look at colonial literature, we say a mufusul town. Simply speaking, mufusul town. So this is a really amazing work. You will need a magnifying glass. Maybe more, maybe more than 10,000 pieces of canvas collage. Uh, we had one person who walked and said, Get the guy. Thank you. I just smiled. I said, At least go and enjoy the work before you see it. There is something very strange in this painting. If anybody finds the strangest thing in this painting, I, no, I even the stick. I already know it's like it before. So there is something very, very uniquely strange in this work. If you find it for me, come and tell me in my ear. Okay. So will I give you two kicks and one. <laughs> anyway, so you know, it's a very interesting work. You see the the, the, the way it's packed. There's some really intricacies. Patan Murada, Kabutar Bhaji. You know, these are all the ancient sports <coughs> which are still alive in some parts of India. If you go to Meerut, you go to Dili Chai, as we call it. If you go to Karachi, Lahore. Do phone will be there. We do an auction. In class, we used to always say, any phone printing is mine. I have to make some money somewhere. You can't do a charity then. So this is a very, very complicated work. Each portion that you start seeing has a story. So it's independent, but when it comes together, it celebrates collectivity of fantastic. I love my stories. Even if you don't like them, I don't really think about it too much. This is my favorite work in the whole exhibition. Um, we have some people who do wonderful work here. I mean, they are back under me. Who's going to there? I mean, I mean, I mean, no eating, drinking, and drinking. This work is actually a work which has been in process for more than how many years? Ah, this will be a while. 2013. And I left it as I shared. And he I, did it. I shared with him the other day. I'm just showing you a few words. He's yet to see a lot of work. And he did not like it. And today I made a comment. He said, he should have shown you. Let's keep something for the He doesn't know that when I'm staying at his house, that's what I need. I can sleep. I want to get on the road. Right. So, yeah. So, this first You know, I call this work, there are two ways. Like, we have stories that are black and white and gray. This is probably because I'm a very dumb person. Uh, really dumb, to be very honest. Uh, this is just a social side you see. This work signifies probably the best work of this. Collages are brilliant, abstracts are this thing. In this work, I feel a lot of emotion in me. Uh, it could be seen, it was not even supposed to be the way it is. It is thanks to my curatorial intervention. Um, this work, if you go deeper, and I urge all of you, not in a fellowship, but come back whenever if you have time and you like it, and you want to have a further dialogue, because this is like a mela right now. It's like the ad right now. Uh, what is very beautiful about this work? Imagine a shivering. That's why the shape, it's not a circle, it's not a square, it's a very unique form in terms of aesthetics of displaying art. Secondly, it could also signify what we have done to other birds. We are polluting it beyond respect. These are all tangible aspects. My real story is not going to be shared. But I want you to find your own story in this book. So for the story line and for the purpose of keeping you in today, this is the human emotion in vibration. Shiva is badly called as destruction. But there cannot be nothing new if there is no destruction. So people like me who happen to be Christian theologians supposedly dubbed as I always call him Green Generator. For if there is no destruction, there is no generation. And the beauty of Shiva is the dance. And the dance is you. Shiv, Ishwar, 
اور مشور تینوں میں شاہ Well, this is the celebration of uh, the world, the way we want to see the cosmic egg prosper, in its beauty of color, in the idea of celebrating. So, you are again open to interpret that as solo pieces, as duality, and with maybe me in the same way. And this one again carries from the same thing. Uh, I can talk a bit about it. It's again, you see, one of the biggest endeavors you see with this artistic <coughs> Food is that he is not wasting anything. So he enjoys his wife, bread or what? We leave that for you to find, depending on whether you are in love with or not. Uh, so you can see the corn making an entry, and then of course this beautiful shape, which is open to interpretation. Uh, like I said before, I will not talk about the abstracts, except that we want you to interpret the abstracts in the way you want to it. It could be an eclipse for you with the various shapes of the rounds coming through. We have some landscape abstracts which moves into some wonderful what I call elemental abstracts which would mean depending on who you are, it's fire, sky, fire, wind, and of course the magnificent world towards the end, which is almost like a snowscape, but also a big But before we go, and then I finally took myself out, uh, just walk back and you see that some people are really enjoying, like she's enjoying. This is also made in house. These are used tires. Somebody put a knife, no, grab the candy wrap. You can actually sit on this and bounce. It looks just the same. So we've been having people to have a jump on this. So this is again, the cherries, one of the most beautiful things is that art can be also useful. Can be exact. So what is a retrained tire can also be? And then we come to the only insulation. That is the only for the insulation. Thank you, Padmini, for sitting on the insulation. May I request you to get up? May I request you to get up? So this is a gentleman. So when I was putting the show, I asked for a give an extra light for this work. This is something that we normally don't talk about in India much, but you only have to go to Goa, Kerala, or Kerala. Know what I'm saying? Uh, what has happened is that our seas are increasing. And what has happened is that our cities have already counted. You look at Mumbai, it's BK, most of it. Goa, the beaches are shrunk tremendously. But here, challenging, I've made this table screen for some time. It is showing what we are doing to the sea bed. So we dump our waste, uh, plastic, you name it, it's all going on the sea bed. The sea has been polluted beyond pleasure and that's why this chair here is in a very bad shape it's almost corrosively gone with the water that's the state of anything that you put in the sea today and this actually talks about deep sea mining, sledging and all those that that's why we have a very interesting use to stop in slippers and then the boat about the that
So, uh, I'm going to take questions. No, I'm going to make it more simple. Okay. Uh, so, with everybody's uh, permission, not that it's solicited, but just to keep the ambience alive, uh, Shailesh, we and me, we are both here. Uh, we will answer questions whoever has. We are circulating. We are serving you some tea, which is against my policy, but he wants it. Anyway, so we are going to serve you some tea. My only request is stay away from the words while you have your tea. And please don't touch the words. It will make my heart go. I don't have a heart, but it will make my heart come back. Don't do that. So do enjoy the show. Feel free to ask anything. Don't trouble your neighbor if you don't want to be troubled. Trouble if you want to be troubled. Thank you all for being such a wonderful audience. That's a usual cliche in life, but I mean it. Thank you for suffering us. Enjoy art, and hopefully your creative juices are. No memory card. <laughs>